and welcome back guys to countdown vampires right when we last left off ah uh, yes we were doing some inventory management kind of so we've got the sterilization passageway key uh i'm not a hundred percent sure where we're gonna use that to let's have a little look out here uh Oh yeah, it wasn't anywhere here, was it? No. Sterilization passageway. We've got to find that. I've only been there once, I think. That's... Right, so that's still locked up. We can't go that way. Sterilization passage. Was it all the way back? Like, I don't th think it was. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go for a little wander, shall we? We might find some more gribbly monsters to waste along the way, in all fairness. I mean, that would be fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, where did this one go again? Maybe this one went. The sterilization. Oh, hang on. Yeah, was it, it was here somewhere, wasn't it? I think. Yes. Yes, it was. Okay, cool. Right, let's have a little look in here, shall we? That was pure luck, actually. Ooh, still yellow moon. I do like those little uh, scenes, that the moon. Pretty nice. Um, this place. <laughs> King. Uh, Illegal entry is a crime, isn't it? Uh, see Rim City Police. Homicide Division. Detective Keith J. Snyder. Sorry, we have you are one of the most impressive records within the department. Also, the highest number of dead bodies to your credit. Uh, how in the world do you know all that? Who are you? I'm in charge of this town. Or shall I say I'm the one who puts on parties? What is the black liquid that made the vampires? Artificial blood. Well, that was a failure. But that's all right. We found a more powerful blood. You mean Gel's blood? Always the detective. The prophecy said Gel's will come as the vampire emperor. We finally found his coffin. If we can extract his blood and feed it into our lab equipment, if we can do that, we can give birth to the strongest life form ever known. Uh -huh. This is Gal's coffin. The prophecy says that Gal's will be resurrected tonight. Such a silly prophecy. I don't believe it at all. A woman of science, I see. But you people believe in some kind of mystical strength that runs through Gel's blood? <laughs> no, not at all. What I believe is the scientific proof that Gel's blood has the strongest DNA. But a dead person is dead. He definitely can't come back to life. This is the birth of a human species for the new century. Be happy. You will be the first one to witness that. Okay. And she's just been waiting here that whole time to tell us that. Ooh, we're gonna fight a monster. Is that one of those weird gribbly things that we've already killed one of? Yeah, we've already killed these. 
Yeah, these things aren't that impressive, Chief. Oh dear. Or are they? Oh, right. Well, I mean, you know, that's us out of ammo. Uh, let's eat that. Yeah, that's just these gribbly things. We've already seen one. Wow, they are pretty strong, I think. I think we had the shotgun. Uh, okay. So, apparently that's the next generation. These monsters inside the capsules. I wonder if they're alive. Uh, well... In a manner of speaking, I suppose. I like those little children ghost things out of Silent Hill. Except, uh, you know, shit. Right. We've got three room, three doors in here to choose from. Good lord. Right, let's try this door. So those little gremlin, little gremlin things are pretty weak source right that's the door that we came through okay ah loading speeds remember those okay right we can try this one which takes us to where that woman was i think what's in the parcel Ooh. Okay. M82A1. That's a chunky rifle. What rounds does that take? There is a lot of weapons in this game. All right, there is a serious amount of ammo in this game, uh, weapons in this game. Let's just try this weapon out, shall we? Oof. Oh. It's not a very optimal way of firing the weapon, but sure. Yeah, that's juicy. Yep, mm-hmm, okay. Glad I came up here. That that is stairs, okay. So oh look. Loads of these little things. These are monsters inside the Yeah, we yeah, you've already said that, dude. Come on, keep up. So we've got another door there. This is just like doors within doors within doors. Uh I guess we've got a little back room to go through. Let's check that out. I say wake up all these fucking things. Let's kill them all. Ooh. What do we have? Give me the stuff. 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 Code sin key. Ooh, okay. Well. There's a lot of shit in here. Guess we'll take the food bar. Don't see any reason not to. Might as well have a quick snack. Ooh, 50 millimeter diameter bullet. Yeah, man, this game gives you, uh, that's like 40 rounds for this thing. So the question is, Firmly built container. Yeah, I guess we can't do anything with those. Right, okay, so we've got a code SIN key. But where do we use that to then? And my god, we've just got a meaty motherfucking rifle. This game definitely is, is very generous with the ammo, which goes against the perceived survival horror trope, I guess. Uh... Ah, yeah, well, I was going to say, maybe it's that one directly ahead, but that door apparently ain't locked. Oh, maybe it was. My bad.
All right, what's through here then? Is this girl's coffin? Oh. I guess. What? The cheese and biscuits is this. Um. We found the coffin. Now we can bring him back to life. How is he? He's all right. <laughs> Let's hurry and get him back to life. Then we'll take care of the girl. Right. We'll use this human. Ooh. Well, it's time to seal him in, isn't it? <laughs> you again. Oh. That was pretty cool. Ah, there goes the vampire hunter. Ooh. He got hosed. That was savage. Oh. There's something here. Views. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say we don't have to fight these guys um let's just test my assumption here I'm gonna save state here I'm going to assume that because we can pick up the fuse and technically run away I reckon these guys are invincible Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon there's something that we, uh... How do you even hit these things? Oh damn. They fire like weird balls at us. Oh, there we go. Maybe we can hit them. Can we actually leave at all, to be honest? Uh, I can only get out of here after I... Oh, right, no, we do have to kill them. Alright. Let's... I mean, we could... I don't know how we hit these things, though. I guess we have to wait until they attack us. But these things are going to fuck us up. Oh, man. Right. Oh, how do you, like, concentrate on all of them at once? Right. Okay. Let's wait for one to start. Nope. You've got to look at all of them at once. That's the trouble. And we're going to get hit. Yeah, we're going to get hit. Oh, man. Well, this is some diarrhea. So how... Right, he's... Right, got her. I think. So the trick is... Ah, shit. The trick is to shoot them before they attack. But you can only see, like, a small amount of the screen at once. This is a terrible fight, and there was no warning of this. So we couldn't prepare. Uh, right, okay, well, I, mean, I don't know, Chief. Right. Hit. Damn it! Alright, that's... Yeah, it's... You don't get enough time. You really don't get a lot of time. I'm trying to work out when they're about to... F there we go. Shit. Should have brought more... Oh, great. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. What a rookie mistake that was. Oh, he hit that one. Jesus, they got some health though, haven't they? fuck's sake. If only you could, like, you know, see them all. 
<laughs> what? What? No, don't aim at that one. Thank you. Right, one less. This should get a little bit easier now. I say should. There is no guarantee because I can't actually see them all. Li oh, great. Lovely. Thanks, love. Cackling bitch. I'm just going to stand here. There we go. That works. Or, you know, not really. Yeah, we're on bad health again. <sighs> it's definitely getting easier as they die. There we go. Right, this should be easier now. Trying to keep track of all three of them. That was some shit, let me tell you. I mean, I still think it's quite hard. Did you don't know when she's... Right, uh, there we go. Nice. So now her priestess things are dead. Ugh. Right, okay. That was absolutely terrible. Now, if you're going to have to track um, three fast-moving targets and, you know, evade and all that kind of shit, you really need to be able to see what you're doing. That is exactly the kind of boss fight that doesn't work very well in this kind of, uh, you know, view setting. With this kind of camera setup, I should say. Right, we've got a fuse now, which means now we can go all the way back to where we came in. Desperately need some health, but we do have a magnum and a 50mm rifle. Let's actually use the rifle. Although, what would be more powerful? I mean, in theory, a rifle is always going to be more powerful than, pretty much anyway, than a um, pistol. You just get way more velocity out of a rifle. But this is a video game. So, I guess let's go up these stairs. Man, those priests or witches or whatever the hell they were, that was fucking rubbish. I know I've said it, but that was a really bad boss fight. It doesn't bode well for what the end of the actual game is going to be like. I think we're going to be in for some pretty awful moon logic, to be honest. Right, let's eat our chocolate bar. The M60 is empty, so that can go in the bin. Admittedly, the M60 was just awful anyway. Shotgun. Oh, God. Shotgun is also empty. Are we, get, are we getting to the end game now? Should we be preparing? I mean, I guess we can always come back if we're not, but I have a feeling this is endgame territory. I, mean, I can't imagine there'd be much left of this. Not now Mr. Vampire Hunter's dead and we've taken on Gels's I don't know, whatever the hell they were. Lady friends. Uh... So, we've got... I'm going to use the fuse up. Do we have... Uh, I guess we'll take these. And... Another healing item, I guess. And then we're going to save it. Now, if we need... Oh, fuck's sake. If we need... To uh, free up an item space, then... That's what we've got... Uh, fuse for, because we know we're going to use that. Right. Here goes everything, I guess. Ah. 
running out of coffee as well. Alright, let's go kick girls in the nads. Okay. Um, so, back out. No, that's the wrong way. It'd be good if we could go that way, but we can't. Uh, right, let's go this way. Yeah, if I can get this finished, I'll be quite happy, because in my holiday, that would be about four games that I've got through. Which uh, is very good for me, because I don't get time to play games, usually. I usually do all of my recording um, one day a week. So, to have this one, uh, to have this time to go through and play all these games has been great. I don't even regret the fact that one of those games was The Ring. And of course, I discovered Panzer Dragoon. That was wonderful. I really enjoyed that. It was so nice to actually play that. I've managed to watch lots of Let's Plays. I've started watching Jimmy Fails. Um, I've been watching Chris. Uh, and I've been watching Reaver. And a few other little bits and pieces here. It's been lovely. Ah, oh, man. Must be heaven not to have to go to work. Right, let's go. Go spray some... Ooh. Ah, oh, it's gonna be another one of those weird things, isn't it? Ooh. Uh. Like, what even is that thing? Well, we've just sprayed its brains out everywhere anyway. I mean, is the grenade launcher more powerful than the Magnum? Hard to say. Like, in Resident Evil, it isn't. But this isn't Resident Evil. Ooh. <gasps> so here we are. This is the end. How's your leg? Uh, well, it's okay. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, shit. Where was the thing? So, okay, this is actually the end of the game then, I guess. Again, there wasn't, I mean, it was, I guess it was pretty obvious, but there was, it wasn't like obvious. And who would have thought that ladder leading up that we have to go to is the way to the end of the game? That's interesting. Right, come on you. Let's get you out of here. I think it's that door that we came in through. Yes. Maybe. Coming through this door? Yes. Yes, we did. Okay, right, let's hit the shit switch and see what happens through here. I mean, we've got a lot of healing items. So we're pretty gravy, baby. This is scary. Yeah, this is terrifying. Get off my dick. Like seriously, get off my dick. Don't touch me in the damn no-no zone, guys. Alright, let's go, let's go. Now, I probably will use a save state around here somewhere because I don't want to have to go through all of that, oh god, all of this bullshit again. Let's try the rifle. If we die. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that sends them packing. Damn, son. <sighs> so, how are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? 
Oh, we've got a car park. Car park's good. We have to get out of here through that. Oh no, really? <laughs> okay, why don't you just give her a gun? How do I seal you up? Just five minutes until Geralt comes back from the dead. Jeez, this looks bad. Jeez, right, safe state going down. Okay, um, I mean, we, oh god, right. Uh, can we actually aim at the right one? That's actually going to be a challenge as well, aiming at the right one. Oh man. Oh man, oh man. Right. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like, how do you aim at them? Like that, I guess, but... We just have to tank it. Tank the hits. Think. Right, which one of these fuckers is gonna... Well, that worked, I guess. <sighs> I really want to try the grenade launcher. Give that a go. Now, this sucks because we can't actually see if they're going to attack. Yes, we can. This is actually a good angle. Think the grenade launcher is crap. Yes, the grenade launcher is crap. Confirmed. We're just going to tank the damage. Come on. Yes, one down. Two down. This is going to get significantly easier now. Come on, lady. I think you're a lady. Oh, right. So that doesn't actually interrupt their attack. Unfortunately, you've got a choice. You can dodge or you can attack. Which ain't great, chief. Come on, you old bitch. I think you're a woman. Hard to tell. Good. Burn. Fucking burn. Yeah, that grenade launcher is shit. Doesn't seem to do anything. You beat them. Not quite. Real vampire. Oh. Misato, you mean you never heard of Gels? Actually, vampires. <laughs> Gels is the emperor of darkness. Uh. What? Keith, I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I actually thought that was gonna go somewhere else. Hey, what? Okay, we save her and we get laid. Wait, hang on. That's the end. That's the end. So you just basically have to. F <sighs> so basically. We had to fight the elder vampire people, ladies, things twice. That was. <sighs> that was the fake ending. Now. To actually get the real ending. I've got to play through the game again and hope that I can complete it in under seven hours. Uh, but I'm going to try and cheese it. I'm going to see if I can find a save or a cheat or something. Because, to be honest, I don't really fancy going back through that game. Now, me, I don't know. There is, there's a few different endings for this. The trouble is... If we've unlocked the special mode, so technically I'm going to have to play this through three times to get the special, uh, the other ending. Because we have to play through that, which is the normal mode. I have to play through that again and beat it in, with an S rank. So that's under seven hours with uh, about 40 vampires saved, right? Fine. 
and then we have to play the special mode which is this mode is the same as the normal mode but it's got extra dialogue in it got extra cutscenes in it and it's got extra it's got extra bosses and extra endings All right and then there's another mode we can unlock prince of darkness mode which is totally different which i'm definitely going to have a look at that but <sighs> why so from what i can understand the actual special mode is what the main normal mode should have been I don't understand why you have to play through the main game with like I don't know 70% of the story and then beat it under certain conditions to unlock the actual proper game with all the story ah <sighs> oh, we got a B rank we actually completed it in less than 10 hours so we got 82 rescue. That's actually better. Than, that's actually a lot better than I thought. So, I need to shave two hours off my gameplay, which honestly is probably not going to be even that hard. And then we have to go through the entire game again. That's going to be a personal project i think uh i'm gonna put that one on the back burner however there are some extra little bits that we can check out so let's drop a save here and uh game start one okay as far as i can understand because we completed this i think we get weapons with unlimited ammo so if we go load, oh, we're going to have to fuck around with switching discs again, aren't we? Which was actually quite difficult. But if we load that, it's going to ask for disc one. Yeah, insert right so let's try this a minute i think i had to click oh yeah because this is the trouble so go yes and then zoom unpause like so change disk from file disk one open And yeah, there we go. There we go. So actually that works fairly well, just it's a bit convoluted. Not quite as easy as uh, on SXE. Procedures code CR01. Club Regan will be sealed off in three minutes. Oh, that actually, like, please leave Club Regan immediately. That actually, like, skips the intro and everything. That's interesting. And it starts you here with a lot more ammo and stuff. Alright. Well, I mean,. Oh, actually, bearing in mind, one thing worth noting is that every enemy that we actually killed, or every enemy we saved after 30, counted as one minute off our timer as well, so... Ah, uh, okay. I don't know how we actually got out of it now. I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. 
Do we actually have like any money or anything? No, we've got 51 cash on it. Which is fine, I guess. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, this looks like just the standard mode. We need to actually go through the game again and all that kind of stuff, which, yeah, we'll, we'll, I guess we'll come back to this game at some point unless I can find a, a save that has everything unlocked. Uh, and then we'd we do it that way, because otherwise, this is going to be us. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this. I actually thought this game was alright, to be honest. It was guff. The story was guff. The enemies were guff. But it wasn't gutter trash. Um, I would say this is just a, a very average survival horror. You know, it's got enough of its own spin to be its own thing, but yeah, it, it needed a lot more effort. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.